The Royal Court announced that on behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, will lead the Kingdom's delegation to the 45th GCC Summit, hosted by Kuwait, at an invitation extended to His Majesty the King from His Highness the Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Mashal Al Ahmed Al Jaba Al Subha. The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, a chairman of the General Sports Authority, the GSA, and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, the BOC, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, visited the Faisal bin Khalid Talents Academy in the presence of a GSA vice chairman, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, BOC a vice president, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, his Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, GSA CEO Dr. Abdurrahman Asker, BOC Secretary General Faraz Al Kuhiji, and President of Bahrain Athletics Association Mohammed Jalal. His Highness Sheikh Khalid emphasised the importance of the academy in discovering and refining promising talents. His Highness met with a number of former runners, praising the long career and achievements. His Highness watched a number of races, praising the talents hosted by the Academy and its role in graduating a group of athletes who achieved outstanding results at Gymnasiad, hosted by Bahrain. His Highness also honoured the champions, wishing them success. His Highness emphasised the importance of investing in young talents and developing them to enhance the status of Bahraini sports at the international level. He praised the efforts of its Academy's officials in providing an ideal environment that helps prepare a promising generation of athletes capable of representing Bahrain in various sporting forums. His Highness expressed pride in the achievements made by Bahraini athletes in the Gymnasiad, noting that honouring them is a tribute to their efforts and determination to achieve excellence. He expressed pleasure to meet the children of former sports champions, expressing keenness to continue supporting them. Under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland, RCSI and Medical University of Bahrain held a ceremony celebrating its 20th anniversary. In the presence of the Chairman of the Supreme Council of Health, Lieutenant General Dr Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, ministers, ambassadors, university faculty and alumni. The keynote speech was delivered by the Minister of Education and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Higher Education Council, Dr Mohammed bin Mubarak Juma who commended the university's pivotal role in the higher education sector in Bahrain and for its contribution to the development of scientific research and its partnership with schools, particularly in areas of disease awareness and prevention. In her opening address, the president of RCSI in Dublin, Professor Deborah McNamara, expressed gratitude to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for his patronage and for the continued support to advancing Bahrain's education, healthcare and other sectors. On the occasion, the president of RCSI Medical University of Bahrain, Professor Samir Atum, announced the official release of a commemorative book titled From Dublin to Dilmun, which chronicles the launch of RCSI's medical and health sciences a transnational education model in Bahrain. And to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the founding of our university here, RCSI Bahrain, it's a great cause to celebrate with our colleagues in the Kingdom of Bahrain. We're really proud of the success of the university. Its success is due to the support of the government of the Kingdom of Bahrain and our clinical partners in Royal Medical Services, Salmania Hospital, private sectors such as the American Mission Hospital and the, and the primary care clinics. 
and we are deeply grateful to the support of our clinical colleagues and clinical partners in making the university the success that it is today. Not only do we celebrate 20 years, but we also celebrate a significant expansion of our campus. The new campus building is underway. It will open in March 26. It will increase the size of the campus by 140%. It's a very exciting milestone on the story of RCSI Bahrain. Chairman of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, received Chairman of the Sunni Endowments Council, Dr. Sheikh Rashid bin Mohammed Al Hazri. On the sidelines of a joint meeting between the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs and the Sunni Endowments Council, the meeting discusses the future investment programs and plans of the Sunni Endowments Department for the year 2025. Sheikh Abdurrahman lauded the work and tasks carried out by the Council noting the need to exert more effort and attention to the development of endowments and employ modern technologies and methods in development and investment while taking into account the Sharia aspects in all related transactions. He also directed to increase attention to mosques in terms of maintenance and preparation for worshippers and make them places of safety and security, highlighting the civilised face of the Kingdom of Bahrain. For their part, the chairman and members of the Sunni Endowments Council expressed their thanks and appreciation to Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed and the members of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs for the support and backing that the council receives, in addition to the attention and follow-up of all the work of the Endowments Department. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, met with the Egyptian Finance Minister, Dr. Ahmed Kachok, in the presence of Bahrain's Ambassador to Egypt, Fazia Zana, and the Mantalakat CEO, Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the delegation accompanying the Minister as part of his visit to Egypt, during which they reviewed aspects of cooperation between the two countries, especially in the financial, economy, and investment fields, and discussed ways of enhancing it. Sheikh Salman emphasised the deep-rooted historical fraternal relations between Bahrain and Egypt, which are based on solid foundations and shared visions at various levels, thanks to the support of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah Al Sisi. He pointed to the keenness of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, and the Egyptian Prime Minister, Mustafa Mabouli, to enhance aspects of bilateral cooperation in light of the ongoing cooperation and coordination between the two countries at all levels. The meeting also discussed the latest developments in the global economy and a number of topics of common interest. The Minister of Oil and Environment and Special Envoy for Climate Affairs, Dr Mohammed bin Mubarak bin Dana, visited the research vessel at Jewan upon its arrival at Khalifa bin Salman port. He was welcomed by Abu Dhabi Environment Agency Secretary General uh, Dr. Sheikha Salam Al Tahiri, along with several officials from the agency. He affirmed that the voyage of the marine research vessel strengthens cooperation among GCC countries in marine sciences and supports efforts to address the impact of climate change. The Minister commended the UAE's efforts in leveraging modern technology to achieve its environmental and climate goals. He commended the advanced capabilities, equipment, systems and laboratories aboard the J1, which facilitate precise and comprehensive research, studies and marine surveys. He emphasised Bahrain's commitment to ensuring the success of this pioneering regional marine research journey, which aims to collect environmental data through comprehensive surveys. He highlighted the importance of utilising the outcomes of the voyage to protect and promote marine environments and preserve plant and animal species. The Minister expressed appreciation for the efforts of the experts involved in the research expedition, acknowledging their dedication and continuous efforts. He extended his best wishes for the success of the mission in achieving its goals. High school students from Bahrain, along with members of the University of Bahrain, Arabian Gulf University and various government and private institutions visited the vessel to explore its operations and learn about its research capabilities. The CEO of Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, Sarah Ahmed Bahaji, confirmed that Jewelry Arabia and Scent Arabia 2024 witnessed an increase in the number of Bahraini exhibitors by more than 30%. Bahaji said that this year's exhibition had a new addition, the Bahraini Souk, 
which is a dedicated space for Bahraini merchants to showcase distinctive local designs that, that highly attract visitors from inside and outside the kingdom. The CEO added that more than 700 participants and international designers from different countries took part in this year's edition, thanks to the successful partnership with the private sector, which strengthened Bahrain's position as a leading destination for international events. Bahrain's leading real estate event, Cityscape Bahrain 2024, brings together thousands of industry professionals, home buyers and investors to explore opportunities, trends and insights in the real estate industry and serve as a vital investment platform for investors and real estate experts. Hwar Resort by Mantis uh, will open within the next couple of months. 102 keys uh, out of that, uh, 62 villas. Um, and we do have something else, something new to Bahrain market, that's the overwater villas. Uh, one bedroom, two bedrooms, and all of that villas are over the water with their private swimming pools and private beach. We're very happy and excited to be part of this uh, international uh, event of such scale. During our participation, we will be showcasing three of our main projects in Bahrain. Namely, uh, one of them is uh, Nesaim, uh, Nesaim Arad uh, and Besatin Villas, as well as Canal View Apartments in Dilmonia. So again, we're very happy and excited to be here. We focus on our project, uh, Jawharat Al Marjan. The project uh, uh, will be on the on the uh, on the tenth uh, island of uh, Durat al Bahrain project, Durat al Bahrain Resort. Uh, the project contain uh, around 200 villas, luxury villas. Uh, each villa contain uh, four four master bedrooms. Okay, with the new ideas, uh, new uh, uh, luxury design. And DR as a master plan, we are always. Uh, offering the best and uh, the unique uh, solutions for real estate, including the residential, luxurious, and for investment opportunities. Uh, DR is available for everyone. 60% of the whole master plan is available for freehold for any nationality, and the remaining 40% are for local, which giving the best mix for having uh, the good population to improve the, any investment opportunity in DR. The Bahraini Omani Friendship Society held a celebration marking the Sultanate's 54th National Day in coordination with the Embassy of Bahrain in the presence of representatives of ministries and institutions and ambassadors accredited to Oman, in addition to representatives of local media. For his part, Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to Oman, Dr Juma bin Ahmed al Kabi, lauded the pioneering achievements of the Sultanate at the various levels. Ambassador al Kabi noted that the Bahraini Omani Friendship Society, since its establishment, has added to the achievements between the two brotherly countries, praising the efforts exerted by the society in terms of programmes and events and forums that contribute to enhancing the relationship between the two peoples. For her part, President of the Bahraini Omani Friendship Society, Radina bint Ahmed al Hajjariya, affirmed the strong historical ties linking the two brotherly countries. She added that the society, since its establishment, has been working to develop these relations at various levels. The NASA Artificial Intelligence Research and Development Centre, the research and development arm of NASA Centre for Science and Technology, hosted a delegation of researchers and students from Yale Jackson School of Global Affairs as part of the visit to Bahrain. During the visit, the delegation was briefed on Bahrain's pioneering efforts in AI applications, including developing AI solutions for various public and private sector organisations and keeping abreast of the latest developments in this field, such as generative AI computer vision and big language models to create smart solutions in various sectors. The two sides also discussed the importance of scientific cooperation and exchange of experiences in this field and the transfer of expertise between universities and international research institutions to promote innovation and develop AI solutions to serve and improve various industries. This visit comes as a confirmation of Bahrain's regional position as a leading centre for research and development in AI and reflects the interest of international academic institutions in exploring the Bahraini experience. Under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, the press conference for the Ironman 70.3 Middle East Championship Bahrain 2024 was held. 
The event, which is set to take place tomorrow, is an integral part of Bahrain's sporting calendar. The conference included remarks from the managing director, Ahmed al Haj, who confirmed that all preparations are complete and the team is fully prepared for the event. He highlighted the aim of delivering a seamlessly organised championship, further enhancing Bahrain's distinguished track record of hosting prestigious international events. The press conference brought together key sponsors, organisers and professional athletes to celebrate the race's legacy and its integral role in promoting health, wellness and unity. The Bahrain Animal Production Show Marai 2024 continues to attract visitors, emphasising the importance of achieving sufficiency for the food security sector, ensuring its sustainability and encouraging plant and animal investment. Marai affirms the government's effort to increase natural resources in the country and is in with the framework of implementing national strategies, initiatives and projects aimed at increasing the contribution of the animal and agricultural sectors in achieving food system sustainability and supporting the national economy. Marai 2024 has provided promising investment opportunities in the agricultural and livestock development sector.